Hey crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up in Creation. So coming at you this week with a new um, video for my Make It Merry Christmas series for 2019. This week's ornament features supplies uh, mostly from the Dollar Tree. And I really absolutely love those little wood cutouts. Um, they have their color your own ornaments um, and have so many different ones to choose from. So this week is just going to feature the little uh, stocking that they have. And I use some uh, design papers from Michaels, but there are so many different things that you could use with these, of course. And hopefully I just inspire you one way that you could decorate yours and maybe give you a few ideas along the way of a couple things that you can use if you would want to make them even a little bit different. So I'm going to use some of the um, papers from the Christmas plaids. I showed these before in a haul video. Um, this is a the pack of the Color Your Own Ornaments in the stocking. And then I'm also going to use those car cloths from the Dollar Tree. And they have a couple different ones. Um, they're really super soft microfiber cloths. Um, this one has this really cool pattern in it. I might go back and make just a whole stocking out of that. And then I have one that I've used in um, another project that I pulled out that this, this one's kind of like an ivory color. Um, they do have ones that are pretty stark white as well. So there's a few different ones to choose from. I've seen a few others even have a quilted look. I'm going to show you all the patterns that I picked out of that one that I really liked and thought that I would just go ahead and use to make an ornament out of. And then I really only needed about two, two and a half inches of paper when I cut these out. And I simply just used a pencil method <laughs> and cut it out by hand. This works out very well. Um, the first two ornaments I did on the back side of the paper, and then I decided, oh, I want to flip the ornament around and do it the other way. And then all the rest of them, um, I made that in the opposite direction. So, I, I still have a few more ornaments, so I may go back and add some that will face the other direction. Just to give it a little, um, something different on the tree. And then the car cloth, honestly, I laid it down and tried to decide um, just how much I needed it so I can use it optimally. And I figured, oh, well, you know, just a little, um, probably a quarter of an inch piece is what I ended up cutting off. I probably could have cut off just a little bit less. I didn't factor in the seam because I knew I was going to kind of cut that seam off of this. And I decided to bump it up against that one side as close as I could so that I'm only going to have to cut it at the top and maybe one of the sides. And that was my idea when I went through and made these. I'm going to use some Mod Podge mat. You could use any Mod Podge. I only used it on the bottom part of the ornament or the actual wood part of the ornament. I didn't add the Mod Podge to the top. You very well could. It would seal it. Um, if you're ever worried about any kind of dampness getting to your ornaments or anything like that, it definitely wouldn't be a bad idea. And I loaded the Mod Podge on there like I wasn't, um, you know, it wasn't oozing out the side very often, sometimes, but I still put a pretty generous amount. And then I laid that piece on top. And then I'm gonna take like a little scraper that I've had for a while in my collection. It's for um, laying down like the vinyl words and making them stick to the adhesive paper. And this, I think I got this um, at Tuesday morning at one time. It's by Leah Griffith. It's just a little Fiskars um, scraper. And I like it, but you could definitely use a credit card or any other, um, like a bone folder, anything that would kind of smooth it down. I had enough Mod Podge on there where I could actually, oops, sorry, hit the camera, that I could actually move the piece around just a little bit to get it centered even better. So then I'm going to take some hot glue and put it on where the stocking the top of the stocking is and then I'm gonna press it down into the car cloth 
And then I'm just gonna trim around it. And that way I have like a little fuzzy top to my stocking. Now I thought about this year, I was gonna do um, some ornaments just like this and use like the felt pieces, like the really stiff felt. But once Dollar Tree came out with these and you get five in a pack for a dollar, which is a phenomenal deal um, for these little wood pieces. Um, there's just so much different things you can do with them. Uh, you can uh, make these with your kids. They can decorate them. I kind of fluff it out a little. There is a, one side of that car cloth looks a little bit less fluffier than the other side. So you kind of have to watch as to which side you like the best. And then there usually ends up like a little bit of hangover on these. And I'm just going to take a nail file that I'm using just for crafts. And I go in a downward motion across the part where I wanna take off that excess paper. And if you keep going in that downward motion, eventually it will wear off. And it, it really seems like it helps make a final um, place where that just sticks to that ornament even better. And then that is actually one of those little sanding blocks from the Dollar Tree. And so there were a few that I had um, more paper on them. My cutting abilities just lack. Um, and then I had to go back and use a little uh, smaller one for the little areas that were harder to get into. But the sand and block from the Dollar Tree worked really well. And I actually liked it better because it just covered more area at one time, of course. But those little tiny places are good. You could even use just a regular file if you have one. Or um, I, I even have a Tim Holtz um, sand and block too, but I don't know where it's at right now. So these are little DIY stickers that the Dollar Tree sells as well. They're just little wooden pieces. This has that cute little snowflake in it. And I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna take that pop dot off of it because I think it already is gonna stick up plenty enough from the um, stocking itself. And I'm going to take some Hero Arts White Unicorn ink and just press it onto this little wood piece. Now I happen to have this one left out from some other projects that I did on my desk. And so I'm just going to use it, but I think it might be a little bit dry. But I just add a little bit of that to the ornament. And on that little wood piece, it dries relatively quickly. And there's what that looks like. And I'm just going to add a little dollop of hot glue and put it on there. Even adding some glitters to these would really be super cute. If I would have had a little bit more time, this is one of those that could have definitely got away from me because you just keep creating and creating and then you've got 30 ornaments and uh, no video yet. And that's what happened to me last year because I got carried away with some of them because they were just so much fun. But I really love how that turned out. I love all those plaid papers. There's so many to choose from. And then this is from Michael's. It's in there. Um, spot where all their wood beads are and it's kind of like their um their awesome deal area and i did go ahead and add some of those farmhouse or those wood beads to that strand and then i'm just gonna hot glue it onto the back and i kind of leave that long tail so that i can use it to kind of help push it down into the glue and then trim that off. And I didn't add beads to all of them, I just did some of them. I still had a couple of the gray beads that I had colored before, so I decided to use those on a couple. And I only finished the one side of all of these, um, but I thought they came out pretty cute. There's so many different things you can do with them. Um, this coming week, I hope if I can do it, um, it may not be till um, the following week, but I have some other things that I have done with these little stockings that I'll share with you as a bonus video. I 
I really love that gray and white plaid. So cute. Now this is that go for faux. It kind of looks like a fur and it, you, you can use it to, uh, of course, make a scarf. Um, but it's really cool. It's um, got this really neat section on the back part of it that you can use to glue down. And I'm kind of showing that now. Um, but it's really pretty. And I thought, oh, that would have looked really good on these. So I add it kind of down to that bottom lip. And I'm like, well, it looks a little bit too more fluffier than the rest of it did, but it kind of gave that an edge. And so I decided just to go along all the top part of it and add in that uh, faux fur look to them, just to kind of make it look a little fluffier. So if you like the fluffier look, this uh, little skein was like $4.98, I believe, at Walmart. So it's not a bad price. There's tons on there to use. I included it in my embellishment box swap, um, a color that was kind of a little bit darker. So you can definitely have plenty to share. But I love how that looks. It's like really fluffy. And then I didn't cut them all to size. I just went ahead and cut them kind of longer so I could stretch them across there and then trimmed them at the end. And I love how that came out as well. There's probably other different things that you could use. You could always use felt, um, and it would come out just as cute. So these are some other stickers that the Dollar Tree has. It still has those same um, snowflakes in them, but it's got the stars that are covered in glitter, and I wanted to use some of those. And then these are Tim Holtz Ideology Quote Chips for Christmas. And there are some really cute ones in here. And there's some smaller ones that will fit across this. But I just kind of wanted to show you some of the different things that I used on these to kind of decorate them. I even used some of these little buttons from my little button stash. And they say you should always do things in threes because that's more pleasing to the eye, at least with paper crafting. <laughs> So I tend to do odd numbers. But I wanted to add some uh, things to these to just dress them up a little. They're really cute by themselves though. And even if you wanted to personalize them and add names to them, these are the little buttons I had. They also had little blue ones as well. And they've got this real pretty shine to them. Now on this one, I just added the little faux trim to the very bottom of it, just to kind of give it a slightly more fluffy look. And then I'm gonna pull out some pine cones that I have in my stash. These are ones that I was using on ornaments last year, so I just threw them in a little baggie because I bought this humongous like acrylic box that was full of them for like $10 one year and it was 50% off. And I have pine cones till the cows come home. I picked two of them that I felt like kind of set just slightly more flatter than the other ones and glued them on there. And then I go back and take that little stamp pad and I'm gonna bump it against those um, pine cones to make it kind of look like they have a little bit of snow on them. Now in the past, I have just set a bunch of those in the box, kind of like I did my rusty bells, and then splattered them just with some white paint, just like a light coating of white paint over top of them to give it that same look. But I think it adds a little something to them. And it takes a little while for that um, pigment ink to dry, but once it's dry, it's great. And you could always just even hit it just barely with a little heat tool. And these were little wood tags that you could put on wine bottles or if you wanted to distinctly um, have on your um, own cup, you know, at a family gathering. These were in the Target dollar stock spot for a dollar two years ago. This is my last set of them that I have. I love those things. I've used them on the... Um, Dollar Tree ornaments um, that they have that look like little lanterns. 
I loved putting them across like the bottom or the top of those. And I used just about all the packages I had on some of those ornaments, but I had this one pack left and I was like, oh, I think this would be really cute. Even hanging from the hanging element um, was my first thought but then I just ended up gluing it to one of the bottoms and you'll see that one here in just a minute. But I'm gonna go through and show you all the different ones that I made. These definitely aren't hard to make, but hopefully maybe I gave you some ideas of different materials that you can use on these to make them even cuter than they already are. You could definitely personalize these type of little ornaments, which would really make it super fun. I love how all these come out. And then it has that farmhouse feel, you know, with the plaid look and everything. And this is actually week five in my ornament series for 2019, Make It Merry. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you um, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button down in the right hand corner. And if you hit the bell, when that appears, um, you hit the bell, it'll notify you every time I upload a new video. So thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. I really do appreciate it. I love all the kind words and um, carrying on conversations with everybody. And um, it just fills my heart with joy because there's not a lot of people that I can talk crafting to, oddly enough. And then last week I did um, several haul videos and I decided to stick in a hidden giveaway. And I'm going to draw for that next like I say, I hope you enjoyed all these. I hope you get a moment to craft it up this week because it sure does take away some of the stress. And this is a YouTube random comment picker. Um, it's called Raffle Dash. It'll go through any um, duplicate comments and kind of weed through those. But all you do is you pull it up and then you can put the video URL here and then hit pick a random comment and then it will pick a winner. So, drum roll. The winner of the hidden giveaway for uh, last week's video um, in my haul where I asked what is your favorite uh, crafting thing to do. Um, there were a lot of other people that picked paper crafting, so I was really impressed. Um, but I had a few of you, um, a lot of different interests out there, so I was really impressed. But the winner for the hidden giveaway is Lisa Gardner. So if you would just leave your email in the comments down below and paper crafting is one of her favorite things to do. So I will get something special sent out to the mail to you um, that has to do with paper crafting because I definitely have enough of that. So again, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, your kind comments and everything. It really, really helps brighten my day. I hope you guys are taking care. God bless.